Sam meant business this time. No more waiting about. He wanted to see inside the Chinese embassy. His memory of this level was fuzzy, but he certainly remembered the large, open courtyard. He remembered there being visible spotlights sweeping the area. It looked as though they appear invisible on today's modern gaming PCs. He knocked out the first guy. Plenty more to go. Well how was he supposed to know it was bulletproof? He didn't know what those flashy things were, but he assumed they weren't sweets and candy. He had to flip awkwardly between the different visions to traverse the area. He remembered something that Anton said about wall bombs only exploding if you deactivated them when they flashed red. Using the same logic, maybe these lights wouldn't hurt you if you timed it correctly. Sam did just that and… Boom goes the dynamite. Just avoid them completely Sam. And damn you Anton, that's all your fault. Despite being a stealth game, trying to be stealthy is one of the most difficult and frustrating things you can do in this game. Sam tried everything at his disposal to do this bit properly. But alas, this must be a shooty bit. Hey, the enemies don't seem to mind using guns. Why shouldn't Sam? That's it, time to run. The alarms began to wail. Not that he cared. He continued to speed run through this area. Until an enemy decided to use a grenade against him. And Sam got the blame. This isn't fair. Yes, down you go. And you, you've been causing Sam far too many problems. Sam was nearly at the other end of this blasted area. All he had to do now was to get over this crate and… He never asked for this. The second time he managed it, picked up the health kit, put Lara Croft to shame and came out at, you guessed it, another trap laden courtyard. What's this? The crystal maze? This puzzle was also fundamentally flawed. Where if he was slow, the lights would catch him, and if he was fast, they'd hear him. He rushed, because life is too short and the punishment's too little to worry with. We need to clearly see their faces when they die. Well that's reassuring. Even executioners have their problems. There's something on the roof. Should we check it out? It's probably another rat, and I don't want to miss the executions. Oh no, but there's no way they could be as entertaining as the blacklist, right? Stop making obscure references, Philip! This would be an awkward place to be caught hanging around. Before Sam knew why he had been caught, he could hear enemies rushing around inside towards him. He had to act quickly, and got some rather old fashioned and brutal looking metal rings out to eliminate the guards. He rushed about for a bit before realising he had to disable the radio. In short, there's a long and boring cutscene about how they're going to kill Sam. With an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. The first time, Sam tried hiding. Time to try a different approach. Identify yourself. Not exactly fair, so Sam ramped it up a notch. But at what cost to Sam's mental health? Oh come on, this isn't fair. And neither is having to do this over the eternal fires. What have these guys been eating? Vodka bottles? We have Nikolaj on board. Estimated departure in. Keeping the departure time open, I see. Wise move. Sam hung there. He had the element of Batman on his side, right? Engaging hostiles! What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But since Sam has Quickload on his side, everything makes him stronger. He decided to gas the guy who's camping behind there somewhere. Conclusion? Smoke grenades are just that. Nothing more. Plus these toilets here remind Sam of his back home after a night of fast food. Sam was getting through his list of gadgets faster than something that's really fast. No Sam, get off the pole! Those days are over! I want the American soldiers prepped and in studio. The executions are going forward as planned. 
Sam had reached a dead end until he spotted a craftily hidden health and safety hazard in the form of an open ground vent. As if normal Sam isn't deadly enough, Sam with wool hacks is a terrifying prospect. Just forget about those damn grenades, Sam. He dropped down and spotted what was to become one of his biggest challenges yet, a giant freezer. On the next Splinter Cell, Sam becomes the hunted in a terrible scripted battle sequence. 